Hey guys, Kate here. Today's video is gonna be a little different than usual. I've been wanting to show you guys what's in my fursuit bag, which I take to conventions and to local meets sometimes. I also wanted to show you guys some new badges that I got. Um, unfortunately, the artist names are not on here, so I'm, I'm having trouble remembering who made these for me. I think um, both of them I commissioned. Um, but this one was from Instagram for the summer and I just forgot to show it in a video. I, I commissioned someone on Furry Amino to make this one and I did get a matching, well not a matching one, but a similar one by the same artist for my boyfriend. But we ended up changing his persona a little bit so it's inaccurate now. If you follow me on Instagram you probably saw his on there. Here is my giant fursuit bag. I highly recommend these if you're looking for a fursuit bag that can hold a lot of your stuff for conventions instead of totes. I know some people keep their fursuit in a tote, um, like a big plastic bin or a suitcase or something. But I really like the duffel bag because you can flatten it out a little more. You can get these on Amazon. I think mine was about $25, so not too bad. And it's huge. I mean, you could probably fit a body in here. So the first thing in there is my feet. As I think I mentioned in my unboxing video, I really, really like these. They're very comfortable. They have slippers on the inside. I've got my tail here. I'm looking into getting a new belt for this because the Velcro keeps coming off of this one. But, um, yeah, I've got my big tail. It's so big. It's like a giant stuffed animal, basically. No tail. Uh oh. Oh, I got a hole in my tail. Oh well. The only thing that I don't really keep in my fursuit bag is my head. I don't keep my head in my fursuit bag because I don't want it to get messed up. This is my fursuit donut. This is the fluffy ring that goes around my neck under my head piece and uh, it's really soft. It's hard to keep this brushed because it gets really matted quickly. Right now I'm keeping my new and my old fursuit paws in my fursuit bag. I have not done a full suit up with the new stuff yet. Um, I'd really like to soon, but I haven't seen what it looks like altogether. I, I am a full suitor, but I'm thinking about switching just to doing a partial because the last couple times that I've full suited, I've felt really ill, and I don't know if that's because I'm not hydrating myself enough or like the heat just gets to me so quickly. And I sweat a lot and I get hot really easily, so I'm wondering if that has something to do with it. Yeah, I'm kind of switching to a partial, like what I do for my videos most often. Got my old paws in here too. I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. Um, I like being able to wash them and they're kind of nice for videos because I can, they're like floppy. These are more like stiff and I can't really pick things up with them, but these I can. So I don't know, I might keep these. One of my props that I got recently is this watermelon bag. Um, I'm going to start keeping this in my fursuit bag and I think I'm going to use it for a snack bag for conventions and possibly meetups. It's actually lined on the inside like, like a refrigerator bag. It's got like that lining in it. So I think this would make a perfect snack bag and it's kind of funny because it acts as a prop as well. So. This is a pizza prop that I got from GFM this past year. 
I don't really take this with me a whole lot. I can't remember who made it. They had a kiosk at the convention and I bought this there. So there's my pizza prop. So like I said before, I'm kind of transitioning into just a partial. I had my maker make me a separate dorsal fin from my bodysuit um, because I'm kind of headed that way <laughs> into just having a partial. Um, the thing that kind of stinks is they changed my fur color. Not, not my maker, I mean the company that sold my fur for my bodysuit, they changed the style of the fur. It had the same serial number and everything, but they changed the way that it looks. So it's more like a dark gray. Whereas you can see on my old fur, like where it's shaven, it's a lot lighter than the new stuff. So that's part of the reason why I got new paws to match the dorsal fin. My new feet paws and my new hand paws match this. It's the exact same but the old one does not. So next in here, I've got a bunch of pillows. These are for my full suit when I wear that. These go in the legs of my Digity Grade full suit. I don't use them that often because like I said, I've kind of gone to partial suiting. Another thing that I keep in here is my fursuit spray, my squeaker, and some extra batteries for my fan. I have a hands-free fan that I often use when I'm suiting and it takes double A's so I just put them in here. This is my fursuit spray. This is one of my favorite fursuit sprays that I've had. I tried making my own and it didn't really turn out that well but I highly recommend these. You can get them on eBay. And then I've got my squeaker in here. I often don't talk at conventions um, or meetups really, I don't really talk that much in general, but um, when I'm not talking I'm using this, so I tend to squeak a lot. I've got a little fish prop in here. This came from one of our meetups. I actually bought it off a friend of mine that wanted in a crane machine. <laughs> so this is my hands-free fan that I was talking about. Um, a friend of mine found these at Walmart during the summer. And I really, really like these. I think you can get them for like $5 at some stores, especially during the summer. But they're really good to keep your fursuit head dry and aerated. And of course, I just keep my baklava or head mask in here. Um, I do spray this with my fursuit spray and I also wash it which is very important because it will stink after a while. Um, I think the last thing in here is my bodysuit, which I'm not gonna really mess with a whole lot, but, because I'll get fur everywhere. Um, but yeah, this is my bodysuit. I've done a suit up video before on my channel. It's been a long time since I've worn my full suit, especially in any videos, because it's so hot and I don't like to wear it, but... Here is my fursuit head. I usually keep this in a separate trash bag. I wish I had something, like a bag that would fit this, but uh, it just kind of hangs out over here by the window. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one.